Welcome back my pack to another tutorial where I show you how to do the most toxic quest on Factory. As you can tell by my gear, I am loading up for what's going to be one hell of a fight. And the reason I'm saying this is the most toxic quest is you will see that I'm basically going to be a sitting duck. Hence the level 5 armor all the way around the cayman and the glasses. So this is capacity check where you do a favor for mechanic and that favor is fixing the boilers or the mixes on factory however this is in plain sight of every single person pmc or scav on factory so you're literally being a sitting duck as you fix these mixes can i survive you're about to find out so stay tuned Still trying to get used to these spawns, but I'm pretty sure I'm by the corner that you always never wanted to be in when you spawn in factory and yes I'm here and no one down the hallway. I think they got rid of the hallway spawn. I have not spawned down the hallway at all since they've updated factory, which is great because being in the spawn I was in right now usually sucked. And you usually pinched on both sides. I don't have any food, so maybe I can find some food in here just because with me being so heavy, I know I'm going to be going through my energy really quickly here. Still nothing down there? I'm not even hearing any sounds. Granted, I do have a Kamen on, and I'm wearing Contact 4s to the Contact 6s, but I should still be able to hear something. Nobody's coming down that hallway either. Well, that doesn't matter. What matters is making sure that I can safely get around this corner, and then get into the room that I need to be to get to the Sky Bridge, which is directly... What'd you say about my mama? Somebody's talking trash. I don't... See them? Did I in this room? No? There's no food in this room either. It's supposed to be a kitchen, looks like. Damn, we really need some food. So, you can take these stairs. You can also come through the way of uh, the offices, which, you know, works. But you can take these stairs, go all the way up to Sky Bridge, and get to where we need to go. But I'm just going to make sure that nobody's going to come behind us. I just want to clear out everything I can down here. There's the outside, which you can now access as well on this side. This is a drug lab, I'm assuming. I don't think they're doing any kind of positive medications here. This, this looks like random drugs. But I hit somebody. I thought they might be in here. I'm not really seeing or hearing anybody moving outside. No? Nothing in here. No drugs, no pickups. Hope for some loot spawns. I don't see anybody out there. Who the hell is yelling? Who the hell is this something about my mama, too? Oh, car? Okay. No weapon crate. That's a weird place to have a weapon crate. Keep a face shield. Uh, nah, don't need that. I would have to wear a key I don't want to do that to myself. Alright, so we're just gonna check real quick and let's say we're good. So let's go ahead and head head up. I thought I had something moving. So I might just be hearing myself breathing then. Because I could have sworn I hit something. Alright. Maybe I'm just getting paranoid since we're all about to do the most toxic quest in factory. No, I did hear moving. And running. What the hell is that? I don't see what down the hallway. I thought those were the stairs that were in the middle. That you could run up. Something about... The baño? That's Spanish, right? Something about a baño. Okay, I hear somebody. Where the fuck are they? It's obviously a scab. I don't know where the PMCs are. I'm surprised that... Haven't started shooting. I wonder if I got an empty weight. Somebody's walking up. Ooh. Where the hell are they? Oh! oh this is Oh, what is the big hammer? Big hammer. Okay. Big hammer versus big gun. Big gun wins. I guess somebody else too now. 
I'm guessing somebody had the big gun and it's gonna come running. Is it Scarab or PMC? There we are. Okay, so that audio is super bug. Sounds like they're behind me, but then they show up on the side. Don't need to reload. Just need to turn my light my laser and get that hip fire. Think? Did I get him? Got him now? One tap. I think that was one tap, right? Does Tequila have anything good at him? Oh, that's why you can't take his hammer. You can search it though, which I guess is free XP, but I would love to take his hammer. And uh, CV14 key. No L1. Oh, I need the L1. And got some ammo, probably some meta ammo. Ooh, I'll take the health and a grenade. Well, I guess I'll take it. Alright, so let's get back. That's the bodies. So, we needed to go to here. Oh, looks like to get a like, clean up down there. So those are the mixes, as you can see. I'm just gonna drop my backpack so that way I don't break my legs due to being overweight, which I'm still kind of overweight. Oh shit! I need to reload my guns, and I am surrounded, and I'm not in a good place. This is why I was saying this is the most toxic quest, simply because you were literally a sitting duck for everybody and anybody. I hear somebody shooting. Well, somebody threw the grenade at me. I'm gonna check the offices so that way I can't won't be sniped. Just making sure nobody's down here. And looks like we'll save. Okay, we are going to let's pop a mule. That way we increase our weight limit, hopefully. And uh that helps us a little bit with the running. Alright, so I got one tool set on me. I'm going to put the gun in there so that way I can also take off that weight. But let me get the tool set. Okay, so now I got two tool sets on me. Gun is away. Backpack should be dropped. And that should hopefully help my weight. Wow, that didn't really help anything at all. Maybe I should put the ammo on there. Oh well, we're just gonna go. We got less than seven minutes to go. I should be able to knock out all these mixes. You want to just walk the pipe. I hear somebody. Please not shoot me. You want to walk on the pipe, especially when you're this heavy, so that way you make as little noise and you don't break any bones. You break a leg in this point, especially when you have so little time like I do, you're going to have a really bad time trying to extract. You have to just sit here for 40 seconds with each mixer, mind you, being a sitting duck and hoping nobody happens to look up here or no scab comes around the corner with an aimbot and just one taps you with 7mm buckshot to the skull which is why I will war the caiman to avoid the buckshot head throat which always seems to give me let me know down below has anyone noticed that most of the deaths nowadays from scabs is like head throat or Thorax. If I'm not the only one, let me know down below. Because I feel like it happens to me all the time when I die by a scab. It's usually like the throat. Like, god damn. Always with the buckshot too. So now we're just going to repeat this two more times while trying not to die. Just double checking. I know I might be a little bit paranoid here. But I don't want to die. With all this gear on me and not get it back. Especially after killing Tegilla. I do want to get his shit. So you got one more on me. I'm going to take... This time I'm going to go for the farthest one. So since I am running out of time. If I go for the farthest one. Then it should be a little bit easier to take out the middle one. It makes logical sense to me. And that's what we're going to go with. Just checking for sound. And I'm going to fall. And damage my legs. Fuck, that's going to kill my time. Alright, so... I'm going to try and do this all again without falling off. Again, the margin area here is... very much on the line. 
Okay, now I just gotta heal my legs. Right, we're gonna give this another shot. I have less than. Ooh, what the fuck? Somebody just came up on that door. Yep, they did. Who the fuck was that? Somebody just kicked that door open. Had to be in the scab. Yes! Okay. Fucking freak me out though. Why are we just hiding that corner? God, factory is so damn dark now. Alright. So we got four minutes now. Four minutes remaining, technically less than four minutes. We're just gonna have to go full send it and be damned with all the noise. Hopefully just nobody looks up here. Now the easy this is about the third time I've tried to even get to this point. Why am I reloading? No, I hit the wrong button. This is about the third time I've tried to complete this quest. Come on, give me the damn fucking icon I need. Okay, look around, look, look back, and... Oh, this is going to... But do I need to take it out of my butt? Oh! I thought you could still place things, even if they are in your secure container. What if they modified that? That will require some more testing here in the future. But I know when I plant like objectives, like the location markers and the cameras, I haven't had an issue with that. Maybe it's a set of things. Oh, you shitting me? That we set. Oh, fucking so delicate. Okay, here's somebody walking. I'm gonna get beamed here and I'm gonna run out of time if I don't just do it. So this is just showing you exactly what not to do. When you do this, just commit. Because otherwise you'll spend so much time worrying about all the sounds that could be possibly coming to kill you. Especially with the audio changes that they have in patch 15. It's been a nightmare trying to accurately assess where people are or hear where people are. At least for me. You might be different, but I had such a hard time trying to locate people or scabs or anything compared to before. So we got another subtest done. I'm gonna reload again. I don't know which magazine is full, which one's not. Alright, so we got the last one. We have less than two minutes. It takes about 40 seconds to plant. So in theory, as long as nothing goes wrong, I can plant this last one and then make a mad dash for the extract, either mid cap or the fall one. Uh, I think it's like gate zero. I want to say it's the one that's in the corner to the right of me right now. Walkie walkie. Okay, cool. Placing. Forty seconds. That will give me about forty seconds exactly to run to the extract. I don't hear anybody anymore. Have only had a lot of gunshots either this way, so most likely a dead raid, except for the scabs and a few PMCs I killed. Alright, and we're done. Okay, capacity check is completed. Wait, ten in. Are you shitting me? I broke my legs on that fall? Oh, oh, fuck, I got 30 seconds. Uh, is this gonna be enough to get me to the door and get the fuck out? I just need to run. 22, 20. All this scatter. Oh, I need to not miss these shots, and I'm gonna get a run out of time. At least he got the scab killed. 10 seconds. Yeah, there's no way I. Nope. 8 seconds. Yep, I'm out of time. I just have to drop all my gear. It's all unsure. There's nobody that's gonna be here in this raid. So I should hopefully get most of that back, if not all of it. Damn it. Okay. Well, hey, at least we completed the quest. That was the important part of this mission here, is completing the quest. Completed three quests though. So we got this one complete. We got that complete. With this we have capacity check complete, as well as the other two quests. And... Is that it? Did we unlock anything else? Okay. Well, I'll take that. That's a pretty good win. Oh, all is revealed. Looks like another one. Or a dog's case. That's not too bad. I'll have to do that in another video, maybe. If there's anything you want to see specifically that you need help and talk of, go ahead and let me know down below as well, and I will make sure to try and make a video for it. Until next time, 
Stay healthy, my pack.